This is a Willits Point Shea Stadium bound 7 express train. The next and last stop is Willits Point Shea Stadium. Well, let's look at the bullpen outlook here. And these are the what I have as locks right now. Mm-hmm. Edwin Diaz, Brooks Raley, Adam Adovino, Jorge Lopez, Drew Smith, and Jake Diekman with the latter two. Not I'm not so 100% on it. I don't know if I'm 100% on Jorge Lopez either, but on the bubble here, Phil Bickford, Shintaro Fujinami, Michael Tonkin, Sean Reed Foley, like you mentioned, Grant Hardwig and Josh Walker. Reed Garrett is there. Johan Ramirez, Austin Adams, Yaxel Rios, who's another guy that we saw that was very interesting, yeah. and Nate Lavender. Uh, out of these guys, how do you round out this bullpen? Oh, uh, Yaxel Rios is another one. There we go. There's a reminder. Um, yep. I uh, looks like he's gained a little bit back of his velocity that he lost. Uh, I think it was, I don't know if it was last year or the year before. Uh, so, you know, he was pumping 97, something like that. Um, so, yeah, I, I obviously look for my explosiveness with a lot of relievers. So that's what I need. I need the strikeouts. I need the high leverage type of stuff, whether it is from the top of the bullpen or the back end. Um, I mean, uh, like I said, Lavender. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, yeah, on the bubble, I mean... I think Shintaro Fujinami will probably be in the opening day bullpen. No also, he has an option. He just, does have an option. Know. Um, so that he he may be one of the guys that gets sent down. Maybe just... if he does struggle, I mean, he could he could start off in AAA. There's a possibility. We've seen him struggle last year, which was brutal. Um, let's see. Uh, I think that I don't I don't know how to how to feel about it because again, it's just like you know, yeah, you're getting you're getting one inning from these guys but hey let me let um, me bring it back up too with all the names yeah I, there you go yeah. oh sh- i mean sean reed foley i like sean reed foley a lot he's he's one of the guys i'm high on uh, and he falls into that him. He, he falls into that yeah. you know mid-tier reliever that can give you innings that trevor williams mm. type guy so that's that's another one yeah definitely Ta- I mean, you can get, yeah tonkin as well like you can get some multiple innings from these guys for, for Sean Reed fully I would say off of Tommy John surgery he's probably more of a one year uh one inning guy now um but I'd say that you know Phil Bickford I'm not the biggest fan of you know Michael Tonkin's fine he's he's all right um you know some of these guys are like at best so average some of them have a little bit of upside like you know Yaxel Rios lots of upside with the, with the stuff that he has uh Sean Reed fully I'm I'm big on um, so, so there's some, some pieces that are like on that bubble there, but you know, so far I'd say that, that we're building a decent depth chart so far from the mind yep. of David Stearns. I have not been, uh, completely disappointed with anybody, um, so far in terms of bullpen arms. I know that Jorge Lopez struggled a little bit, but, um, you know, hopefully we can get a little bit more full force from him. Um, look like the velo was down a little bit. Um, but first, outing. he also he also faced a guy that, you know, took him deep in the past, like who he had did. his number, yeah. but he he, he, um, he was getting a little bit hit hard in that uh, one. He was. He uh, and and listen, I, I think that overall, I think that was kind of more of what you saw last year with him, where there was just a lot of instances where uh, a curveball that didn't curve or a sinker that didn't sink. Like, that's kind of how you looked at it with uh, Jorge Lopez, who has that stuff. But. Sometimes there's just uncompetitive pitches that get smacked over the wall and hopefully that they can like kind of, you know, vary into kind of getting a better pitch sequence with him and, you know, make a few of those adjustments. And that's just how relievers are. I mean, we, we, we know that, but overall the, the consistency from bullpen candidates so far has been impressive. I really am. I'm, 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 I'm impressed so far, but again, it's the first week at, at some point, you know, maybe one of them can turn me, but uh, we'll see what happens. I'm, 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 I'm excited with a lot of these arms that have been brought in because during this, uh, um, during this off season, there's always been a reason as to why David Stearns brought one of this, these arms in, and I've been like, okay, I get it, I get it, I get why this guy. Like, I'm, you know, you look into it deeply of some of the numbers that they have and some of the upside, of the stuff, or you know, whatever specs that you're looking at. Um, and I understand the upside that they do have. And um, yeah, I mean, th- there's been like a few pieces where I'm like, okay, what what is this? But f- full on, I mean, th- these guys can be viable relievers with the upside that they have. And hopefully they could tap into that, which is 
David Stern's bread and butter. That's been his thing throughout his entire career as an executive. Yeah, and he's helped build the bullpens every year in Milwaukee to viable point where this team was a consistent contender uh, in the postseason. So, you know, I'm excited to see where it goes. And obviously, we're going to get some bad outings from these guys. But what I like is that each of these guys' outings has pushed the other one to try to be better and 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 better. And, you know, you got to – well, I'm not as concerned. But a guy like Drew Smith should be concerned that his spot is not 100%. Mm. And if he pitches any way like he did towards the end of 2022 and the whole season of 2023, he's not a lock to stay in this bullpen. I, I you know, with the Dominic Leones and the Trevor Gotts of the world in this bullpen, his spot was kind of safe. So, you know, this year, I don't think it's as safe as people may think it is. Uh, same would go for Jake Diekman, especially if a guy like Nate Lavender, who, uh, Jose uh, Lopez Moya said had around 14.1 strikeouts in the minors. Uh, a guy has guts just pitching with 91, 92 mile per hour fastballs. And, uh, you know, with his uh, distinctive delivery, which, you know, I'll continue to say reminds me of Billy Wagner. Uh, he will be in this bullpen at some point within the next few years if he's not traded. That That is a, a for certain for me.